Mark 76 proudly presents Clash of the Champions, Guts and Glory. You will see the semifinals and the finals of the U.S. Heavyweight Championship Tournament as Barry Lyndon Russell Sting and Lex Luger wrestles Mark Anderson. The winners face each other for the U.S. title. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as Ricky the Dragon Steamboat defends against Michael PSD. For Supremacy, Tully Blanchard wrestles Nikita Koloff for U.S. title implication. And the U.S. Tag Team Championship is on the line in a no disqualification tornado tag team match as the Midnight Express defend against the Rock and Roll Express. And we're going to get started right away. The U.S. title tournament, Sting versus Barry Windham. And a big right hand by Barry Windham takes Sting down. And Barry Windham got here by way of defeating Dirty Dick Murdoch. Last week on main event, Sting got here by defeating Michael P.S. Hayes on the same card. So here we are, the opening contest here at Clash of the Champions. Guts and glory, we thank you for tuning in on YouTube. And Barry Windham has Sting in the corner, reverses by Sting. And shouts out to the fans here in North Carolina. A big right hand by the Stinger. And a right hand by Barry sends Sting in the corner. Reversal by Sting. And a clothesline by Sting. Another clothesline by Sting takes Windham down. A third clothesline and Windham's in trouble. Windham backed into the corner. And Sting going. Oh, and he misses. He was charging in the corner. Windham moved out of the way. And there's a power bomb on over. And Sting is down. Windham goes for the cover. One. Two. And the kick out at two by Sting. What a series of events there. Sting. It looked like he was going for the Stinger splash early. Windham ducked out of the way. And a DDT by Sting takes Windham down. Sting howling to the fans here in North Carolina. And Windham getting back to his feet slowly. Sting went for that stinger spot. Oh, open up and over goes Windham, the top rope. Not a disqualification. He did not throw him over. And Sting following outside. Picks up Windham. Wants to win this match in the ring. And throws Windham back in. Wow, what a, what a bunch of action for two minutes in, huh? Sting picks up Windham. Reversal into the turnbuckle goes Sting. And now a big boot to the head. Windham, that six foot six frame, stretching that leg across the throat of the Stinger and has him in the corner. And now stomping away at the midsection is Barry Windham. There's 280 pounds of force behind each and every kick. And now throwing down the arm of Sting and Windham going for the cover. He thinks that's it. Referee in position two and a kick out at two by Sting. And the fans here in North Carolina on their feet. And they're going to witness some great NWA action today. A new U.S. Champion, uh, champion will be crowned. It will be one of the four men. And Wyndham going for the cover. Could he move on to the next round? One, two, and a kick out by Sting. I thought he was going to kick out, but took a little bit longer than even I expected. They will witness a new United States Championship. One of the four men of Wyndham. Oh, and Wyndham has him in the claw hole maneuver. Sting trying to fight it for all it's worth. Will Wyndham be going on to the next round to face the winner of Arn Anderson and Lex Luger? And Wyndham really raking it in. And fans are being told that we have to go to a commercial break, really, so we're going to try and stay here with the action as long as we can. Sting whips Wyndham into the turnbuckle. And now Wyndham in trouble. Sting. Going for a splash of moves again. Sting. Whips Wyndham into the turnbuckle. Okay, we're going to hold off on that commercial break. Sting has Wyndham up. Perched on the top turnbuckle. And Sting in control. Has Barry Wyndham up. Could it be a superplex off the top rope? Up and over. And Wyndham's in trouble. Sting goes for the cover. Referee down one. Two, and throw, and kick out by Barry Windham. And Sting, asking for a faster count. He thought that was three as well. And Sting picks up Windham in an uppercut by Windham. Picks up Sting for a body slam. Sting reverses it in a kick to the thigh. And now Windham scoops up Sting. He's fighting out of it. Sting gets out. And a big jab to the throat has Windham reeling. 
And now staying in control over Barry Windham. Sting quite not uh, not quite sure which, what he wants to do to Barry Windham there. Just kind of letting Windham rest against the rope. That's kind of odd. Allows Windham to get up, and he nails Sting in the corner again. That big boot to the throat of Sting. That was a weird sequence there where Sting allowed Windham to get up. And now Windham whips Sting hard into the turnbuckle. And Wind wait, Windham is untying that top turnbuckle pad. He has Sting. And a big elbow takes Sting down. Wait a second. The referee does not see that exposed turnbuckle. And a high knee lift takes Sting down. And Windham goes for the cover. Referee position one, two, and a kick out of two by Sting. Fans, we're being told again we have to go to a commercial break, so we're going to stay with the action as long as we can. Sting in trouble. Barry won the big right hand. I'm going to keep calling it until we go. And Wyndham feels it. Has Sting in the corner. And again, the boot across the throat. Misses with a kick. Sting. Whoops, Wyndham into the turnbuckle, the exposed turnbuckle, and down goes Wyndham. Wyndham holding his lower back. He's in trouble. Sting again. Wyndham into the top turnbuckle. The exposed turnbuckle has twice, and Wyndham's back is in trouble. Sting picks up Wyndham into the turnbuckle. He misses with a splash again. Inside cradle by Wyndham. One. Run for two. And a kick out by Sting. Oh, fans, we're going to commercial. We'll, we'll be right back into this quick timeout. Oh, and a knee lift by Wyndham. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out. Fans, we'll be right back into this quick timeout. And fans, we are back. Thank you. Wyndham still in control. Whoop Sting into the turnbuckle face first. And Wyndham fighting back. Sting fighting back. And a bunch of reversals here by Wyndham going for the cover. Has a handful of times but made it to the ropes by Sting. And Sting has Wyndham with a knee to the midsection of Sting. And a snapmare takeover by Wyndham. Oh, and a big axe handle across the back of the neck. That could be it. Sting could be down. One, two, and a kick out at two by Sting. During the commercial break, it was all Wyndham. They took the action to the outside. But keep in mind that Wyndham's back is hurt in a powerbomb again by Wyndham. Picks up Sting and goes for the claw again. He has the claw on Sting. And Sting is doing everything he can to get out of it. Will Sting be able to make it to the ropes? Will he be able to punch his way out? Get out of this maneuver. If not, Wyndham's going to the next round. And there's a punch by Sting. A second one breaks the hold, and the fans are going crazy here. Sting with a kick to the midsection. Whips Wyndham into the turnbuckle, and he misses with a stinger splash again. Reversal from behind. Wyndham has a handful of tights. One, two, and three. And Wyndham steals a victory from Sting. Oh, fans, I don't know about that one. Barry Wyndham stole a victory. Sting went for the splash again. Windham moved out of the way and run him up from behind with a handful of tights. And here is some action from earlier in the contest. Oh, Barry Windham stole the victory from Sting. It was a back and forth match. But Sting missed a stinger splash in the corner and Windham rolled them up from behind and had a handful of tights. And Sting is arguing with the referee that he pulled the tights, but the referee did not see it. Oh, wow. Sting may have a, a beef here. And Wyndham is laughing all the way back to the dressing room. He will move on to face the winner of the total package, Lex Luger and fellow Horseman member, Arn Anderson. And that match is next, fans. Don't go away. More Clash of the Champions after this quick 
timeout. And fans, the second semifinal match of the evening here at Clash of the Champions, Guts and Glory, will be the total package of Lex Luger going up against Arn Anderson. And what a way to begin this match. And a backdrop by Arn Anderson takes Luger up and over. Barry Windham stealing a victory from Sting in the opening contest. He will face the winner of this match. And wouldn't it be interesting if the two Horsemen members went up against each other for the U.S. title? And Luger now in control over Arn Anderson. Has Anderson in a front face lock. And now an abdominal stretch by Luger. Really raking it in. And Anderson trying to fight out. And Luger lets him out. But the damage may be done, and Anderson is in trouble. And now Luger working the leg. And if you're Lex Luger, and you know, and go for the cover, on Anderson, one, two, and a kick out of two by Arn Anderson. If you're Lex Luger, and you know that if you win this match, you have a date with destiny against your former World Tag Team Champion partner in Barry Windham, one has to think that Luger would be excited about that, and Luger flexing for the fans here in North Carolina. In control, picks up Anderson, whipped hard into the turnbuckle, and down goes Anderson, stomping away as Luger. Luger can feel it, and whips Anderson up and over the top, and Luger gonna suplex Anderson back in. Up and over goes Anderson. Luger flexing again, the fans are eating it up here. Luger in control, stomping away. Luger defeated Mike Rotunda in the opening round while Arn Anderson defeated the dog-faced gremlin Rick Steiner. Now Luger in control, working the neck and Anderson gets out, reverses it. Anderson, for the first time in this matchup, seems to have a little bit of momentum his way. Snapmare takeover takes Luger down. Now working the left arm of Luger. And Luger trying to get out. Having a hard time. Working his way over, trying to fight out. Punch and breaks the hold. And Luger with a big right hand sends Anderson into the corner. A body slam tying Anderson to the tree of woe. And now an elbow drops a forearm across the face of Anderson again. A second forearm. And Luger feels it. Could Luger be setting him up for the torture rack? He picks up Anderson. And he nails him with a big clothesline. Goes for the cover. Anderson in trouble. One, two, and oh, a kick out by Anderson. And Luger's like, wait a second. I got to do more damage, and Luger picks up Anderson, and more damage he does. Gorilla Press slam up and down goes Anderson. Luger feels that the fans are going crazy here. Luger can feel the date with his former tag team partner, Barry Windham. Luger picks up Anderson, and into the turnbuckle, and a power slam up and over. Luger's feeling it. He's allowing Anderson to get up. It could be the precursor to the torture rack. And there it is. Anderson's up in the torture rack. He's trying to fight it. Luger really raking it in. Luger has it. And Anderson submits. Anderson taps much like he did at Wrestle War. And Luger throws him down to the mat. It will be Lex Luger and Barry Windham for the U.S. title later on tonight. And here are some highlights from the contest. Luger was in control for most of it. Anderson able to make a quick comeback, but let's be honest, Luger made very short work of Arn Anderson. Wow, fans, what a match. We have a finals for the U.S. title coming up. And Luger here sink, cinching in, in <laughs> I can speak, cinching in the torture rack. And Anderson had nowhere to go but the tap. And there's your winner, the total package, Lex Luger. And the fans here in North Carolina are very excited to see this match between two former, not only tag team partners, but tag team champions. And fans, the updated bracket is as follows. It will be Barry Windham and Lex Luger fans. Our next contest speakers, Tully Blanchard and Nikita Koloff. Don't go away. We'll be right back into this quick timeout.
And the next contest here on Guts and Glory Clash of the Champions features Tully Blanchard taking on Nikita Koloff. Now the winner of this match will be deemed a contender for the United States and World Heavyweight Championship. And as you see, Tully Blanchard coming to the ring already one half of the World Tag Team Champions with Arn Anderson. And they have been wrestling all the competition here in the NWA. Sneaking out of Russell War by the skin of their teeth because Tully Blanchard got disqualified prior to Arn Anderson tapping out of Lex Luger's torture rack. And they have been challenged in recent weeks by Jim Cornette's Midnight Express. So with the Great American Bash Tour coming up soon, you can only imagine that those two teams will be going at it. And here making his way to the ring is the Russian nightmare Nikita Koloff. So Tully and Nikita set to go here at Guts and Glory Clash of the Champions. We thank you for tuning in and joining us this evening. And a whip into the ropes and a stalemate by these two men, no strangers to each other. And quite frankly, they do not like each other. And Tully taking the head of Nikita and running it across the top rope. But a knee lift by Nikita responds. And now Tully Blanchard, 30 seconds into the match, hits a pile driver. And Nikita, let's be honest, has been having neck issues. Let's go back several months when he had those two out of three fall matches with Ric Flair. It was the second of those two out of three fall matches with Ric Flair when he charged the ring uh, corner and Flair moved out of the way, shoving Nikita head first into the top of the turnbuckle. Then, of course, Barry Windham takes a steel chair to the lower back area. They have a battle at Wrestle War. And Barry Windham proceeds to DDT Nikita Koloff on the outside floor. So Nikita Koloff has had neck injuries for the last couple of months here in the NWA, but he has not missed any time. And he's fighting his way back here with a neck breaker of his own on Tully Blanchard, and Blanchard escapes the ring. Nikita's going to follow him. And a shoulder block by Tully misses with the elbow. No, he nailed it. I'm sorry. From my vantage point, I could not see, but Tully Blanchard nailed the elbow on Nikita Koloff. And now Tully Blanchard, hard into the ringside post goes Nikita Koloff. And now Tully underneath the ring, he's going to grab a chair. Now the referee would disqualify Tully, but there is no title on the line. Just a missed opportunity for future title matches. And Tully allowing the referee to count Nikita out. The kid that makes his way back to his feet, slides in the ring, and is met by a thunderous clothesline from behind by Tully. And a double axe handle on the neck of Nikita. And Tully smells blood, goes for the cover one, a kick out at one by Nikita. So pay very close attention to the neck area of Nikita during this matchup. Goes for the cover again, and Nikita kicks out at one. Fans, we still have the United States Tag Team Championship on the line this evening. The Midnight Express defending against the Rock and Roll Express in a no disqualification Texas Tornado two out of three falls match. Try saying that five times fast and Tully out to the floor. Nikita following him again. And now Tully, this time chasing and Nikita pursuing. Oh, and another shoulder block. Kind of used JJ as a screen there. Nikita was going after JJ and then charged at Nikita. And now whoops Nikita hard into the guardrail and Tully in control ramming Nikita face first into the guardrail now has him looks like a butterfly suplex up and over goes Nikita and Tully in control slides back into the ring he will gladly take a count out victory and now Tully catering to the fans so much more action. Again, the U.S. Tag Team tells on the line the, we will have a new United States Champion crowned as Barry Windham and Lex Luger battle in the finals of that tournament. And, of course, the main event, the World Heavyweight Champion, newly crowned Ricky the Dragon Steamboat defends against Michael P.S. Hayes. But now, Tully and Nikita going to work now. Tully on Nikita. Forearm to the back and a big clothesline takes Nikita down. Goes for the cover again. Referee position one, two, and a kick out of two by Nikita. 
And there's a big clothesline by Nikita. Now Nikita fighting back. A kick to the shoulder of Blanchard. And now Nikita has Tully tied up in a submission maneuver. Is Tully going to tap? Tully able to fight his way out in the pick, pinning predicament. Does not go for the cover. Whoops the kid into the turnbuckle. And a kick to the midsection. Now again, face first on that top rope, raking the eyes of Nikita into the top turnbuckle. Inside cradle. One, two, and a kick out by Nikita. So Tully raked the eyes of Nikita across the top rope. Went for an inside cradle, trying to catch Nikita off guard. But now Nikita firing back with the right hand. A right hand by Tully, another right hand by Tully. And Tully has regained control, so Nikita able to fight out for a moment. Now working the arm of Nikita over that top rope, goes for the cover. Nikita's down one, two, and a kick out by Nikita, two. And the fans here are getting behind the Russian nightmare. And now stomping away on the arm is Tully, whose current World Tag Team Champion partner lost to Lex Luger in his bid to be United States Champion. And now another pile driver by Tully. And Nikita's down. Tully slow to get up. Goes for the cover. Nikita down one, two, and the kick out of two. And that slow pinfall attempt by Tully may have just aided Nikita in kicking out. And now Tully staying in control. Working over Nikita. And a big right hand stuns Nikita. Another right hand up and over. Now jabbing, punching, elbow, chops. Tully has Nikita. It could be the slingshot suplex, and it could be all over. That's Tully's finishing maneuver. And here's the replay, nailing that slingshot suplex on Nikita Koloff. Is Tully going to go for the cover? He does. And that could be it. Nikita's down one, two, and throw a kick out by Nikita. And Tully's shocked. The fans here are chanting. They're screaming. And Tully staying on Nikita. I think he's in shock. Whoops Nikita hard into the turnbuckle. Bounces off. Into the ropes goes Nikita. Up and over Nikita. And a big clothesline takes him down. Tully going for the cover again. One, two, and oh, a kick out. This time barely by Nikita. Able to get that left shoulder up. And now Nikita in trouble. A big right hand sends him down. Goes for the cover again. One, two, and a kick out again. Getting that right arm up barely before the referee's hand comes out for three. What a back and forth contest. Tully whips Nikita into the turnbuckle. And a reversal by Nikita. And now chopping away on Tully. Back and forth, another chop by Nikita. And Tully's in trouble. Nikita trying to get the excitement and admiration from the fans. Goes up to that second turnbuckle. The fans are solidly behind the Russian air in this contest. And Nikita picks up Tully. And he has him up and he nails him with a brain buster. He could be setting him up for that Russian sickle. And JJ Dillon up on the apron, getting the attention of the referee. Tully back to his feet. Nikita hits a Russian sickle. That could be it. Rolls him over, goes for the cover. Referee's down, and wait, JJ distracts the referee. Nikita has Tully down for the three count. And the referee distracted by JJ. Nikita drops a fist on Tully, but Nikita had the pinball. And now working over Tully Blanchard again. Tully trying to get out, and he does. And a big right hand by Nikita. Back and forth they go, and a shoulder block by Tully takes Nikita down, goes for the cover, one, two, and a kick out by Nikita. Nikita hit his, the back of his head on the mat. And wow, oh, what a chop by Tully, another jab, kick to the midsection, Tully in control. And as Nikita into the ropes, oh, and a stalemate. And up and over, another butterfly suplex by Tully. Takes Nikita up and over. He goes for the cover. Nikita makes his way to the ropes. 
And Tully in charge here in the current going. Picks up Nikita. A big right hand. Up and over. Into the ropes. And a stalemate by these two. A body slam up by Nikita. Charged into the turnbuckle. Slam down into a power slam. And Nikita goes for the cover. He can feel it. One, two, and oh, a kick out of two by Tully. And Nikita telling the referee to speed that count up. And now Tully in trouble. Nikita picks him up. Kicked in the midsection. Nikita has him up in some kind of a power bomb maneuver. And he's throwing him into the turnbuckle pad. And now Tully's back is hurt. Tully clinching that lower back. Now Nikita stopping away. Up to the second turnbuckle goes Nikita. Drops an elbow across the face. And now Nikita has Tully working the leg now. He DDT'd the leg. Goes for the cover. Referee in position one, two, and three. No! He kicked out a two. I heard a three count. The referee's hand did come down, but he's insisting that Tully got his arm up. And Nikita wisely staying on top of Tully. Did not argue with the referee, even though the hand came down for three. And now a reversal by Tully. Up and over goes Tully to the top rope. Nikita following him out. The referee did not disqualify him. It was a defensive move. And Tully kicking Nikita away. Drops the elbow. And I think Nikita's been busting open. He has. Nikita, the back of his head hit the chair. That was lying on the outside floor. Now Tully climbing back. He's not going to jump on the top rope. No. Just did a little teaser there. Now... JJ picks up Nikita, who was again busted open. And an elbow by Nikita catches. And the first press and a series of right hands. And now Tully's busted open. These two men busting each other open in this contest. What a back and forth match, folks. An elbow to the head. A series of elbows. And now Tully's in trouble. And Nikita working over Tully. Snapmare takeover, and Nikita in control. Now, again, elbows to the head, really busting open Tully Blanchard. Both men beaten and battered here. Nikita going for the cover. It could be at one, and the kick out at one. Tully's shocking me there. And Nikita back to his feet. No surprise holding his head. These two men have beaten the living daylights out of each other. And now Nikita putting Tully back to his feet. I'm being told by our producers that we need to take a commercial break. We're going to stay with you as long as we can. Nikita has Tully. It's not mere takeover. Fans, we will be right back after this quick timeout. The weather's getting hot and that can mean only one thing. National Wrestling Alliance presents the great American Bash World Tour. We will be in Dallas, Texas at the Reunion Arena, San Antonio, Texas at the Convention Center, New Orleans, Louisiana at the Superdome, Miami, Florida at the James L. Lynch Center, Jacksonville, Florida at the Gator Bowl, making its way up to Atlanta in the world famous Omni Auditorium. We will hit Greensboro, North Carolina at the Greensboro Coliseum, slide over to Raleigh, North Carolina at the Gordon Arena, Make our way up to Norfolk, Virginia at the Scope Coliseum. Make our way over to Kansas City at Memorial Hall. St. Louis, Missouri, Keel Auditorium. Then we hit Chicago, Illinois, the UIC Pavilion. Detroit, Michigan, the Joe Louis Arena. Cleveland, Ohio, the Convention Center. We travel east and make our way to East Rutherford, New Jersey at the Brendan Byrne Meadowlands Arena. Then make our way south to Philadelphia at the Civic Center. Setting up the pay-per-view at Baltimore, Maryland at the Civic Center. And concluding the next night in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Armory. 18 towns, 20 days, the National Wrestling Alliance Great American National 
Welcome back to Clash of the Champions, Guts and Glory. I'm your host, Gut Mark 76. We are back. And Tully Blanchard setting up Nikita for a pile driver, and he nails it. It has been back and forth during the commercial break. But Tully fully in control now. He goes for the cover one, two, and a kick out by Nikita. And I'm not sure how he kicked out of that. That is the third pile driver maneuver of this contest. Tully has Nikita up. And the knee lift takes Nikita down, goes for the cover, one, two, and oh, a kick out of, a very, he kicked out. Tully thought that was over. The referee's hand came down for three. That's the second time in this matchup, and again, a fourth pile driver by Tully Blanchard on Nikita. Nikita is in a world of trouble, now gloating to the fans. Picks up Nikita. And now Nikita reverses it. A forearm to the back. But Tully back in control. That was a short-lived momentum change there. Oh, and in the corner goes Nikita. And now Tully has him. Kicked in the midsection another time. A fifth pile driver nails him. And Tully. Now what's Tully doing? Rolling out to the outside. And he rolling back into the ring, drops an elbow. And Nikita is in a world of trouble. And now Tully going for the cover. One, two, and a kick out of two by Nikita again. The fans are on their feet. They are supporting Nikita Koloff, trying to have him mount a comeback. And Tully is taking off the turnbuckle pad. Now we've seen that earlier tonight by fellow horseman member Barry Windham. Tully whips Nikita hard into the ropes. That exposed turnbuckle picks up Nikita inside cradle. The back of Nikita down. One, two, and a kick out by Nikita. We saw that earlier tonight. That exposed turnbuckle going for the cover again. One, two, and a kick out by Nikita again. The NWA needs to look into these wrestlers taking off that turnbuckle pad. And Tully working again on Nikita. Reverses up and over the top rope. Nikita shoulder block to the mat. Takes Tully down to the floor. And Nikita back in control in this contest. It has been very evenly back and forth the entire match. We are over 15 minutes in. Both men have been busted open. They're spilling their blood and their guts here at Guts and Glory, Clash of the Champions, and a rammed into the, the side. The guardrail goes Nikita, shoving Tully into the guardrail. Dropping the knee, stopping away now on Tully. And Nikita back in control, picks up Tully. And a backbreaker. Tully is in trouble. And Nikita throws him into that ring post. And Nikita picks up Tully. The referee's still counting. Throws Tully back in. And Nikita beats the count. Has Tully where he wants him. Picks him up. Setting him up. It's another brain buster. And then JJ back on the apron, distracting the referee. And Tully reverses that move. Shoves Nikita. Oh, chest first into the exposed turnbuckle. Goes for the cover, but the, Nikita made it to the ropes. And a big knee takes Nikita up and over. Goes for the cover. One. To the Sesame. Two. And throw a kick out. Nikita. The back of Nikita hit that exposed turnbuckle. And Tully picks up Nikita again. Another butterfly suplex. The blood running down the face of Tully. Goes for the cover. Nikita's down one, two, and three. No, a kick out again in Nikita. Oh, my. I don't know how he's doing the fans. Tully picks up Nikita. Whips him hard again into that exposed turnbuckle. Now he whips him across the other ring. A stalemate. Nikita fighting back in the clothesline up and over. Nikita will not go away quietly. 
He is fighting for everything he can. Tully following him out to the floor. Picks up Nikita. And chopping away. Nikita had enough and fights back. A big left hand. An uppercut takes Tully down. And Koloff drops a leg. Tully's in trouble. Koloff picks up Tully. Throws him back in the ring. Nikita slides back in. Blanchard in trouble. Nikita going for the cover. One, and a kick out of one. I don't believe that. Oh, and a knee to the back by Nikita. And Tully, oh, a kick to the face. Inside cradle, that's going to be it. One, two, and oh, a kick out again by Nikita. Tully hit him with a kick to the side of the face. Now chopping Nikita back into the corner. Blanchard up, sunset flipped, has Nikita down. In the pinning predicament, one, two, and a kick up by Nikita again. Using that big, powerful leg to hit Tully in the head, but Tully drops an elbow. Into the ropes and drops a second elbow. Fans, what a match. Drops the elbow again. Tully picks up Nikita. And an elbow to the side of the head. A second elbow to the side of the head. And a third elbow for good measure. Goes for the cover. Nikita down one, two, and three. Oh, kick it again. Nikita fighting his way out. The former world heavyweight champion knows that if he loses this match, it may be a long time until he gets another rematch. And again, Tully won. Two, and oh, a kick out again by Nikita. Nikita worked so hard to become world champion, defeating Ric Flair at Clash of the Champions. That was a controversial decision. Lost a series of matches with Ric Flair. Two out of three balls. Nikita going for the cover again. One, and a kick out of one by Tully. And Nikita knows if he loses this match, it may be a while before he gets another world title opportunity. And Tully fighting out. Nikita has Tully. And wait a second, ramming him into the next most turnbuckle. Two. Oh, he's ramming him in. Time, time. Nikita ramming Tully face first into the exposed turnbuckle. Tully's in trouble. Nikita picks him up. Into the opposite turnbuckle goes Tully. And Nikita hard whips him hard. And here comes a bulldog face first to the mat goes Tully. Nikita's feeling it. Goes to the second turnbuckle. And he drops a forearm across the head. Nikita in control. Goes for the cover. That could be in one, two, and three. No, a kick out by Tully. Both men able to escape the other's pinfall attempts. And Tully escaping by not much. And now Tully, ooh, a snapmare by the leg. And now Nikita clutching his knee. Tully picks up Nikita. And whips him hard into that turnbuckle. And from behind. And the, Tully has a handful of touch. One, two, and three. And wait a second. That's... That's the second time this evening the Horsemen have won with a handful of tights. But Tully Blanchard is your winner, and fans, what a match. Over 20 minutes of nonstop back and forth action. These men giving their blood to entertain you. And here are highlights of earlier in the contest. Fans, what a match. Tully Blanchard putting himself in position for future title opportunities. Oh, fans, what a match. Nikita, again, this uh, it's almost like a broken record. Nikita has nothing to be ashamed of. This guy needs to take some time and heal that injured neck. He insists on wrestling each and every week for the fans. And each time he narrowly escapes victory. And I'll tell you, this time it was at the hands of Tully Blanchard. Nikita Kolov is nothing to be ashamed of in this heartfelt battle. And there's your winner, Tully Blanchard. Fans, we will be back with the United States Tag Team Tunnel Match after this quick timeout.
And fans, welcome back to Clash of the Champions, Guts and Glory, the first of three title matches in a row. We'll see the Midnight Express defend their United States Tag Team Championship against the Rock and Roll Express. The disqualification rule has been waived. This is a Texas Tornado match, and making their way to the ring right now, the challengers, Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express. And these two teams have been battling all over the country. And the Midnight Express have had several victories using underhanded tactics such as low blows and inverted atomic drops behind the referee's back. So the NWA Board of Directors has come to the decision that if the Midnight Express can get away with it, why not give the Rock and Roll Express an opportunity to as well? So here they are making their way to the ring. The United States Tag Team Champions, Beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan, who in recent weeks have made a challenge to the World Tag Team Champions, Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson. Uh, so the matchmakers here in the NWA may be giving the Midnight Express a World Tag Team title match in the near future, but one would imagine the outcome of this contest will weigh heavily on the NWA Board of Directions decision. And both teams in the ring, the referee checking each member of the team for hidden objects in their knee pads and trunks. And the referee says that they are good to go. And he calls for the bell and away we go. In the Texas Tornado style match, I will do my best to call the action here. We have Morton taking down Stan Lane. Ricky Gibson working over. Beautiful Bobby up and over with a beautiful arm drag. And now Gibson punching away. Taking Eaton down. Lane working over Morton. Who reverses it? Whips Lane into the ropes. Oh, and a stalemate those two. Pick up body slam by Morton and Lane goes down. Gibson up to the second turnbuckle. And he drops an elbow on Eaton. And Eaton's in trouble. Lane's in trouble. Inside cradle by Lane. Or on Lane. Excuse me. One. Two. And the kick out. That was almost ended the match really quickly here. Morton had Lane. And an inside cradle. Gibson firing away on Eaton. A backslide by Morton. On Lane. One. And a kick out at one. Wow. The action is fast and furious here thus far. And a big shoulder block. Morton takes Lane down. Gibson still working over Eaton. Morton whips Lane into the ropes. And a beautiful takedown. And Lane rolling out to the floor. Morton following him. And Lane throws Morton into the guardrail. Gibson has a headlock on. Oh, and Lane throws Morton into the guardrail. Gibson working over Eaton in the ring. Punching away with a fury of right hands. And Lane has Morton and throws him back. Oh, and the back of his head hit the, the wood floor here. Meanwhile, in the ring, Gibson has Eaton and a guillotine over the top rope and Eaton's in trouble. Lane working over the leg of Morton. Picks up Morton with a backbreaker on the floor. Oh, and Gibson going for the cover, but Lane breaks it up. And now stomping away on Eaton still is Gibson. And Lane finally breaks up that. Whips Gibson into the ropes and takes Gibson down. And now walking across the back of Robert Gibson to Stan Lane. And a beautiful suplex into a pinning predicament. Oh, and Eaton makes his way to the ropes. Lane with a backbreaker on Gibson. And now Morton whips Eaton into the ropes. And a big thunderous clothesline takes Eaton down. Morton whoops Eaton into the ropes. And another leg takedown. Gibson calling to the fans. Morton picks up Lane. Inside cradle. Could it be? Referee one. Oh, and Lane made his way to the ropes. Barely escaping. Gibson going up top. He has Lane, uh, excuse me, Eaton down. And a beautiful knee across the throat. Gibson had a beautiful knee across the throat of Eaton. Morton covering lane two and a kick out of two. Oh man, the action fast and furious here. And the United States Tag Team Championship is at stake. Now Eaton in control with a stomp to the lower midsection of Robert Gibson. Lane with a belly to back suplex on Morton. 
And now there's an inter inverted atomic drop, which has won many matches. Lane go for the cover on Morton. One, two. Eaton on top of Gibson, but Gibson made it to the ropes. That inverted atomic drop has been the victor for the Midnight Express over several of their matches, but it's legal in this contest. They did not, however, get the pinfall this time. And Eaton off the second turnbuckle, now they forearm to the throat of Gibson. Lane going up to the second turnbuckle, allowing Morton to get back to his feet. And Nails, oh, and misses with a double axe handle with a knee to the back by Morton. Morton rolling Lane over, working the leg now of Stan Lane. Eaton has Gibson up for a Supo, a brain buster. He nails Gibson with a brain buster. Morton going up top, Lane prone on the mat. Drops an elbow, goes for the cover. This could be it, one, oh, and Eaton breaks it out. Oh man, Bobby Eaton broke it up. Who's in the right place at the right time. Has Morton down, beautiful maneuver. Gibson against the ropes. Now going for the cover on lane. Referee in position one, two, and now a kick out. Oh, and Morton on top two, and a kick out at two. Both members of the, of the Midnight Express were down for pinfalls there. Gibson now working over lane with a knee lift to the face. Morton with an elbow to Eaton. Snapmare takeover by Morton. Drops the knee on Eaton's face. And there is Gibson with an inverted atomic drop on lane. Payback, karma, call it what you will. Morton goes for the cover on Eaton. One, two, and three. There is one fall. The Rock and Roll Express have a pinfall. They lead this contest one fall to zero. Lane has Gibson belly to back suplex. Takes Gibson up and over. Lane working on Gibson, eating him more not to the outside. Kick in the stomach. Lane, beautiful butterfly suplex up and over goes Robert Gibson. And Lane, oh, a Lane Sabat kick on Gibson goes for the cover. Referee in position one, two, and three, and it's tied in one pinfall apiece. The winner of the next pinfall or victory or countout or what have you will be the United States Tag Team Champions. And there's a bulldog by Gibson. This could be it. Gibson deciding not to go for the cover. Eaton working on Morton on the outside. Oh, and a beautiful reversal by Lane. Oh, and another Sabat kick to Gibson. Gibson rolling out of the ring. Now the Midnight Express can double team Morton. I forget that idea. Lane goes outside to follow Gibson. Eaton working over Morton, misses with a kick. Oh, and a big shoulder block takes Eaton down. Morton has Eaton, kicking the stomach in the DDT. Goes for the cover, Gibson takes out lane two and three. And the Rock and Roll Express have won the United States Tag Team Championship. Oh, what a match. Fast and furious tag team action here at Clash of the Champions. And the Rock and Roll Express finally defeat the Midnight Express after many attempts. There was the inverted atomic drop, which has won matches for the Midnight Express in the past against the Rock and Roll. But did not work this time for them. Oh, wow, what a match. Ricky Morton hitting a DDT on Bobby Eaton, getting the pinfall victory. And one has to wonder if the NWA Board of Directors will still have the Midnight Express chasing Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson. I would think so. It was one match, but man, what fast and furious action in this contest. The Rock and Roll Express are your new United States Tag Team Champions. And the referee has the title belts. And he's going to give them to Ricky and Robert. Fans here in North Carolina are going crazy. Fans, we will be right back with the finals of the U.S. Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Barry Windham and Lex Luger do not go away. We'll be right back after this quick timeout. Fans, welcome back to Guts and Glory Clash of the Champions. The following contest will be the final of the eight-man tournament to crown a new United States champion as Barry Windham faces off against former tag team partner and champion, the total package, Lex Luger. And here he is making his way to the ring. Barry Windham 
the newest member of the Four Horsemen looking to add championship gold to that stable. Thus far, the members of the Horsemen with gold will be the tag team champions Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson. Barry Windham looking to add the United States title to that stable. And here he is, fans, on their feet, making his way to the ring. The total package, Lex Luger, in recent weeks, vying and attempting to gain those World Tag Team Championship. But by hook or by crook, walked away empty-handed. He will look to add the United States title to his waist by defeating his former World Tag Team Champion partner, Barry Windham. And the referee calling for the U.S. title belt. And that is what we're fighting for. The eight-man tournament concludes right now. And there it is, the United States Heavyweight Championship. One of these two men will walk away with that title. And the referee calls for the bell, and away we go. And Luger with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Wyndham. Wyndham, of course, fighting the lower back injuries from earlier in the, in the evening. And Luger forcing Arn Anderson relatively easily to submit earlier in the contest. Well, up and over. And Wyndham with a belly-to-back suplex takes Luger down. Going for the covers, Wyndham on top one. And a kick out at one by Luger. And a kick to the back by Wyndham. And now stomping away on the back of Luger's Wyndham, working the arm now of the total package is Barry Wyndham. And Wyndham with a big right hand clubbing down on the back of the head and a double axe handle to the upper back of Luger. Wyndham going for the cover. Referee position one, and a kick out of one by the total package. The fans are on their feet. A beautiful maneuver by Wyndham working the neck of the total package, again working the arm. So Wyndham is methodical. Oh, and an uppercut by Luger. Making a comeback in the gorilla press slam. Up and down goes Wyndham with authority. Luger now going for the cover. Wyndham's in trouble. One, and a kick out of one. I was saying that Wyndham was in control, dissecting Luger, but Luger has come back with a fury. Snapmare takeover, now working the head in a headlock for Barry Wyndham. And Luger really wrenching it in. Wyndham's trying to fight it. And Luger just really digging in deep. Wyndham up to his knee. And elbow to the midsection, the second one breaks the hold. And Wyndham went for a punch, and Luger reversed it into a body slam. Snake Eyes into the turnbuckle. And Luger's in control, going for the cover. Referee out of position, now counts one, two, and oh, a kick out by Wyndham. Wyndham able to escape. And a big right hand and knee to the back by Luger. Luger now going to the second turnbuckle. He misses with an elbow, and Wyndham with a double axe handle again on Luger. Back and forth in the early going of this contest. Now working the leg is Wyndham. Again, the arm. His thought process must be if he takes out the arm, it'll be hard to hoist up for that uh, torture rack. And now Wyndham. Oh, and a reversal by Luger. Wyndham was going for Luger's leg. Luger got out of it. Rolls Wyndham over. And now he's working the leg of Wyndham. Luger has Wyndham. Oh, Wyndham reverses it. Throws Luger over the top rope and charges him. And down to the floor goes Luger. And Wyndham not following. He'll take the count out victory. If he wins this match, he'll win the United States Championship. Referees counts up to two. Luger stirring around. He's going to get back up. And now, wait a second, Wyndham taking off the turnbuckle pad. He did that earlier against Sting. Yeah. 
and a big elbow takes Luger down, going for the cover. Referee in position one. Oh, and Owen oh, Luger made it to the ropes. The right arm of Luger made it to the ropes. And Wyndham now stomping away on top of Luger. And now a series of right hands, and Luger's in trouble. And Wyndham has him. Set him up, and a face plant DDT, that could be it. Wyndham goes for the cover, new U.S. champion here. One, two, and throw a kick out by Luger. Luger kicks out. I don't believe it, fans. He nailed him with a face plant DDT. And now Wyndham has Luger into the turnbuckle, the button reverses. And now the back of Wyndham. Wyndham goes hard into that exposed top turnbuckle. Big clothesline by Luger. Stomping away on Wyndham. Now Luger has Wyndham. Big punch in the face. Russian leg sweep takes Wyndham down again. Working that back of Wyndham. Could it be setting him up for a torture rack? Luger has him and it is a torture rack. Wyndham's up. Is he going to quit? He's trying to fight out of it. But he taps. Luger has won the U.S. Championship. What a back and forth contest. And Lex Luger has won the United States Championship. And here are some highlights from earlier in the evening. Uh, the, the contest and window of a back and forth contest. Wyndham here in control. And there was a grill press slam by Luger. These two men battled at it back and forth and back and forth. And it was Luger who whipped Wyndham into the exposed top turnbuckle and then set him up for the torture rack and Wyndham submitted. Fans, your winner and United States champion Lex Luger. Lex Luger looking for the championship belt. Here's that face plant DDT. Luger was able to kick out. And that face plant DDT has been the new finishing maneuver that Wyndham has been using. Was not able to put away his former tag team partner. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the new United States Heavyweight Champion, Lex Luger. Fans, don't go away. We have our main event next. We'll be right back into this timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the main event of the evening at Clash of the Champions Guts and Glory. And it is for the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring at this time, the challenger from Bad Street, Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 200. And 60 pounds, Freebird, Michael, P.S.A. And his opponent, the N.W.A. World Heavyweight Champion from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing 242 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And there he is, fans, the new World Heavyweight Champion, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, set to defend that newly won title here against Michael P.S. Hayes. In our main event thus far, we crowned a new United States Champion as Lex Luger defeated Barry Windham, and we also have new... United States Tag Team Champions in the Rock and Roll Express. Can Michael Hayes make it a trifecta tonight? And he's in the early control here, having Steamboat up and over and stopping away on the back of Steamboat, who has been defending that World Heavyweight Championship all throughout the country against the likes of Arn Anderson, Ric Flair, and Barry Windham. And now... Steamboat fighting back, whips Hayes hard into the ropes, and a beautiful arm drag takes Michael Hayes over. And Steamboat now in control. Snapmare takeover. And a beautiful maneuver by Steamboat now working the neck area of Michael Hayes. Now working the legs. Steamboat will break any, <laughs> take apart any part of your body and work it 
better than anyone. And there's a scoop slam down goes Hayes. Steamboat is as sound a technician in this business as I have personally ever seen. And now having Hayes in the headlock, drops the elbow, and Hayes is in trouble. Steamboat in control, picks up Hayes, and he whips him hard into the turnbuckle. Bouncing off Snapmare takeover. And another snap move by Steamboat, working the neck of Hayes, goes for the cover. And the referee out of position, running around one. And by the time the referee got down, it gave Hayes an opportunity to kick out. But Steamboat staying on top with an elbow to the forehead of Hayes. Fans, the Great American Bash is coming soon. And should Ricky Steamboat survive this match, rematches have been signed with Nature Boy Ric Flair all over the Great American Bash Tour. One would think, oh, and Steamboat going for the cover. Has him down one, and a kick out at one. One would think that with the new United States champion Lex Luger, that that title will be defended on the Great American Bash Tour as well. So fans, stay tuned for all the dates of the Great American Bash. We gave you these cities earlier this show. And there's a splash by Steamboat down on Hayes. Going for the cover. Referee down one. And a kick out at one by Hayes. The Great American Bash all over the country. The National Wrestling Alliance and Got Mark 76 bring you the best wrestling action. And now Steamboat diving down on Hayes. Misses with a kick, but does not miss with the elbow. And now Steamboat whips Hayes into the corner. And a beautiful monkey flip out of the corner. And Hayes is in trouble. The fans showing their appreciation for the current world heavyweight champion. And Steve going up top. Could he be setting him up for a high maneuver? And Hayes making his way to the ropes. He's too far away and he is. Steve realizes it. And a beautiful bulldog maneuver from behind. Steve staying on top. Goes for the cover. Hayes is down one. And a kick out at one again by Hayes. And Michael Hayes in recent weeks has been teaming with Jimmy Jam Garvin in their version of the Freebirds. So one would think that if you're Arn Anderson or Tully Blanchard or the Midnight Express, that the Freebirds might want, excuse me, the Rock and Roll Express, <laughs> Freudian slip there, that the Freebirds want their championship. So... Again, with the Great American Bash coming up, both of these men have their eyes set, but they cannot look any further than tonight. Michael Hayes can win the World Heavyweight Championship, and that would just throw a monkey wrench into all of Steamboat's plans. And a beautiful maneuver by Hayes takes Steamboat down, a big kick, and Steamboat is in trouble. And as I say that, he rolls to the outside trying to catch his composure. And Hayes follows him out, and a big slap by Steamboat, another slap by Steamboat. And Steamboat firing away on the outside, which is usually where Michael Hayes does some good damage. And Steamboat said, no, I'm going to take the fight to you. He's not backing down. Oh, and an elbow by Hayes catches Steamboat off guard. And an inverted atomic drop, and Steamboat is in trouble. The referee is still counting up to six, it looks like. And Hayes drops an elbow. Both of these men better be careful of a double count out. And Hayes throws Steamboat back into the ring. And Hayes follows suit. Can't win the world title in the countout, let alone a double countout. And Hayes now firing away on Steamboat. Picks Steamboat up for a scoop slam. And Steamboat reverses it with elbows to the back of the head. Breaks the hold. Steamboat inside cradle. Referee down. One, two, kick out of two by Hayes. Steamboat with that inside cradle out of nowhere. Oh, going for a kick, and Hayes blocked it with Neville with a clothesline. And Steamboat's in trouble again. What a back and forth contest thus far for the World Heavyweight Championship. Hayes whips Steamboat into the turnbuckle. And Hayes follows. Here comes a bulldog out of the corner. And Hayes nails it. Could he have a new champion? Is Hayes going to go for the cover? No. He's setting up Steamboat. 
Kicks him in the midsection. And he's going to nail a DDT. And he does. A face first DDT and Steamboat's in trouble. Could we have a new champion? Hayes dragging Steamboat to the middle of the ring. He's going to roll him over. Goes for the cover. And the referee down one, two, and throw. Steamboat kicked out. Hayes was an inch away from winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Staying on top of Steamboat. Steamboat reversing with an arm drag. Takes the, uh, Hayes down. Steamboat picking up Hayes now. And he has him in a sleeper hold and Hayes is fighting it. What a back and forth contest. Is Steamboat going to put Hayes away? Hayes is fighting it for everything he can. Doing everything he can to fight it. The referee is in position and Steamboat lets go. And now Steamboat climbing to the top rope. Could it be that high crossbody? Steamboat. Waiting for Hayes to get back to his feet. Jumps halfway across the ring and nails him with a beautiful crossbody. Referee down one, two, and three. And Ricky Steamboat has successfully defended the NWA World Heavyweight Championship here at Guts and Glory. Clash of the Champions. Hayes was in control for a moment of this match. Nailed the Bulldog, nailed the DDT, and I thought we had a new champion right there. He went for the cover. And Steamboat barely kicked out. The referee's hand was less than an inch away from making a three. Oh, what a match. What a main event here at Clash of the Champions. There's a one, the two, and coming down for a three, and he barely got out. Ricky Steamboat is still the world heavyweight champion. Fans, we thank you for tuning in to Clash of the Champions. Guts and glory, fans. We will see you nationwide on the Great American Bash Tour. I'm your host, Scott Mark 76. We'll see you at the matches. Good night, everybody.